I'm Mr. Richmond, and this is your Integrated Math 2, Unit 7.4 and 7.5 Lesson Summary. So we're now going to start to look at shapes beyond quadrilaterals here in this lesson. We're going to look at some polygons and some basic info on the interior and exterior of the polygons and the sum of those measures. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is what an interior angle of a polygon is. Um, the interior angle of a polygon faces the inside of a polygon and is formed by consecutive sides of the polygon. So for example, um, this here would be an interior angle. Interior angle, interior angle, interior angle, interior angle. So you should have the same number of interior angles for a shape as you do sides. So it has three sides, has three interior angles. Four sides, four interior angles, etc. And through um, working in the book, you actually experiment with a lot of these and kind of develop a formula. So I'm just going to kind of summarize what you should have found in class in case you're absent or anything. But uh, what we did, we drew some diagonals. We tried to basically break each of these different shapes into triangles because we know the measure of triangles. The inside of triangles, angles measure up to 180. And if I take this pentagon or five-sided shape here um, and break it in triangles, I can break it into three different triangles without overlapping at all. And so by looking at that, if the inside angle of this add up to 180, 180, and 180 no matter what, then I would imagine that all the angles of the pentagon should add up to 3 times 180. That would be 540. So another way to think of it really, if I was dealing with a five-sided shape, I end up, end up with three triangles, each with 180 degrees. And if you do this with other shapes, you start to realize the pattern, which is basically that the sum of the interior angles is the number of sides of the shape minus 2 times 180. So if you have five shapes, it's five, or five sides, sorry, 5 minus 2 times 180. If it was a quadrilateral, 4 minus 2 times 180. 12-sided shape, 12 minus 2 times 180. So that lets us come up with a more simplified formula, uh, which is where it's just n minus 2 times 180, and n represents the number of sides. Now, if I ask you to find the, what a single interior angle is, just what one of these is, this finds the sum. Well, if it's a regular shape, and remind you what regular means, if you forgot from math one, is when all sides are, are congruent. If every side is the same length and it's regular, then I can actually just take the total and divide it up by the number of angles that we have or the number of sides. So the formula for the measure of each individual interior angle of a regular polygon is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. Pretty straightforward. Now when we look at exterior angles of a polygon, the exterior angle of a polygon is formed adjacent to each interior angle by extending one side of each vertex. So if you take any pentagon, or sorry, any polygon and you draw it, and then you just take one of the sides and kind of just trace that side and extend it out with an arrow, you're creating an exterior angle. And as long as you continue going in that same direction, so on mine, I kind of actually went counterclockwise with how I drew them. It only goes out in a ray from each direction, starting at one vertex, draw a ray, out, extending past the other. You create all the exterior angles. And so I have five exterior angles to match the five sides. And so I numbered them one, two, three, four, five for you. Those are your exterior angles. And through some um, work in the book, you discover that really, no matter what you do, no matter how many, um, how big the shape is, how many sides uh, the shape has, as you put more sides in, the size of each angle decreases. So um, even though we have more angles, they're smaller size, no matter what we did, the sum of all the exterior angles of any polygon always came out to be 360. So it really doesn't matter what shape I ask you. If I said, what's the sum of the exterior angles of a triangle? 360. What's the sum of the exterior angles of a nonagon? Nine sides. 360. What's the sum of the exterior angles of a polygon with 2 billion sides? 360. I don't even need to test it. It's just a known fact. It's going to be 360. Okay? Um, with that in mind, then, if the shape is actually regular, all sides the same, then the measure of each one of these individual exterior angles will just be that 360 divided by the number of sides. So I can just do 360 divided by n. Slightly easier formulas there, but definitely formulas that for this test you want to memorize, because without them, this can be very difficult, a little bit more time consuming. So let's try it. So for our example, Ms. Dutton here drew a 12-sided polygon. As usual, Ms. Dutton making our life difficult here. Um, she wants us to find all this info. 
I don't really care what this does. That's going to do this. So I guess we got it. It says, calculate the sum of the interior angles of the figure. So right there, interior, I can use my interior formula, sum formula, which is n minus 2 times 180. And I'm really just going to plug in the number of sides we have in this particular problem. It's a 12-sided shape, so my number of sides is 12. So I can just do 12 times 2 minus 180, which is equivalent to 10 times 180 degrees which means my shape has 1,800 degrees. That's the sum of the interior angles. Um, so it says if the figure is regular, what would the measure of each interior angle be? Now the formula for that is n minus 2 times 180, and then just divided by the number of regular sides. So I'm basically taking that sum and dividing by the number of sides. Now because I already have that figured out, I can just go with 1800 divided by the number of sides. And I just got to work that out. Do 1800 divided by 12 real quick. 1800 divided by 12 is 150 degrees. And 150 times 12 is 1800, so I feel good about that. Moving on, what is the sum of the exterior angles? Again, I can spend a lot of time drawing this out. If you want to, you want to draw a 12-sided shape, use your n minus 2 formula, get each interior angle, um, then use that in linear pairs to find the extra angle. You could, or you can just remember the sum is always 360 degrees for any polygon when you're talking about the exterior angles, which means if it's a regular shape, all sides equal, and I want to find the measure of just a single one or each one of these individual exterior angles, it's just going to be their sum divided by the number of sides. And the number of sides is 12. So I'm going to do 360 divided by 12 to figure out what each one of these exterior angles is. And it turns out to be 30 degrees. So it can be a pretty straightforward problem if you're diligent enough to Take the time to memorize the formula, say them a few times, make sure you know which formula goes to which situation. Okay? I wouldn't just walk into this without this formula. It makes it pretty tough. All right? Do it to it. Thank you.